All right, what is up, y'all? It's your boy Iconic back again with another video, man. And something special for the OG heads out there, man. I've been doing this a lot lately, just trying to keep y'all updated with more sneaker news about them OG kicks that's coming out, man. And we just got word that Supreme is doing a dope collaboration with Nike. Um, I know we all hoping for this silhouette to stay the same. We never know what we're gonna get with Nike, but I think if if they keep it true to OG, it's gonna go well. But we're not gonna wait. Let me not, let me not jump too far ahead of myself. Before we get started with this video, man, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the own feats, sneak a lot of sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. I thank y'all for watching, man. Not gonna waste any more time, y'all. Let's get into it. Boom! We have it here, man. The Nike Air Bacons, man, and. To be 1000% real, man, I was never a big fan of all the colorways, never a big fan of all the crazy shoes that came with the Air Bacons, but this red and gold pair right here and the all blue pair and um, some of the low joints that look similar to this were always something that just grabbed my attention when I was younger. Uh, always wanted to get this pair, couldn't really afford it, and I ended up finding these maybe like, I think last year, bro, the year, I think it was the year before. It was the year before. I think 2020 or 2020, yeah, 2020, 2020 or 2021, I found these for like 60 bucks online, bro, which was a crazy steal, right? But anyway, we just got word online, man, that Supreme is gonna be doing a dope collaboration with the Nike Air Bacon. Um, I think it's a dope shoe. We've seen so many crazy renditions of it, but I think it's time for them to do like a, just a regular OG drop. Um, I know prices on this joint is gonna be crazy, and they always sit around, bro. Nobody's not really a big fan of the Air Bacons, so I don't see these really doing anything too crazy when they do drop. But I think they're trying to put the Supreme, uh, you know, Supreme hit to it to kind of give it like a boost and like a, a boost in popularity, or you know what I mean? Like brands do collaboration to try to hype up the future OG sneaker that's coming out. And I think with this, even if we don't get um, the exact shoe, which is the Air Bacon, uh, the Tim Hardaway joint, man, it's like, if you get this right here, right? You get this joint right here, and they put like little Supreme joint on the back, I'm fine with it, I'm cool with it. They do something simple like, keep it like this, and then they put Supreme on the tongue. I'm fine with it, I'm cool with it, I'll take it. I will take it. But I'm 1,000% sure when you look at other shoes that Nike has, I mean Nike, but I'm 100% sure when you look at other shoes like um, some of the Air Max, uh, Air Maxes Nike has done with Supreme, some of the Dunks they've done with Supreme, uh, some of the OG shoes like, um, let's say, the Jason Kids or you know, any any of those OG sneakers, bro, they always put like a little funk on it. Like the Jason Kids from last year, they put like some Paisley print on it. It was black hair, uh, I think a tan pair and a baby blue pair. So seeing this, I'm probably 1000% sure we're probably not gonna get this specific shoe. Um, again, we have seen crazy renditions of this. We've seen it like this. We've seen it collaborated with um, so many different um, Air Max bottoms and different things like that. It's just like, you know, I've been waiting for this OG for a while. So I'm hoping they do bring these back. Um, I actually feel like I can go to true to size with these, but I probably would prefer 11. The shoe is kind of like fits more like a boot in my opinion. And it's not bad. It's just I think it would probably fit better and look better as, uh, you know, my actual size that I need to have on feet. So I think it's a dope shoe, the Air Bacon Man. I think <laughs> the troubling... I feel like the troubling past of this shoe is all is super crazy, right? So for one, you know, I don't know if y'all remember, but back in the day, they used to have Air and Arabic on the back of this. Well, no, I don't know if you know, but back in the day when this shoe dropped, it used to have an Air symbol on the back. That symbol, that oh, I don't know if y'all know, but back in the day, they had um, this shoe, the OG shoe like this, where it says um, Nike Air. It used to have Air on the back. Put like a little picture up here somewhere where y'all can see it had air on the back but it, it kind of symbolized uh words in arabic uh, Allah in arabic so um some people have that shoe still but a lot of people um they hate it they um they end up you know a lot of people of the muslim faith and islamic culture 
you know, almost damn to cancel Nike because of it. So Nike ended up like destroying some pairs or recalling some pairs. Some people still have those older pairs with air on the back. Personally, to me, I get it. I understand you gotta respect the culture. I thought it was just a fire design, man, to make the air portion look like it's fire on the back of it. But again, the way they designed it and made it look, it looked like it was, you know, eyeline on the back. And I feel like a lot of times with some of those controversial sneakers, man, that's what makes them, I ain't gonna say make them dope, but at the same time, it's just like, those little details make a shoe pop out a little more. And that was one of the details that I thought was fire on this shoe. <laughs> no, no, no pun intended. But at the same time, man, like this shoe as well, you know, Tim Hardaway, man, he wore this shoe. Um, the killer crossover, that's something that a lot of people don't talk about, man. Tim Hardaway was one of those dope, dope athletes, man. But he got in some, you know, controversial as well back in his time of playing, man. And, you know, I don't want to go into details about what he said. But it's just crazy about, like, how, how dope athletes and dope sneakers can get, you know, just caught up in the mix with a lot of different stuff. So I'm not saying, you know, we shouldn't have freedom of speech. But I think a lot of times a lot of people say things that... They're usually insecure about themselves, or you know, they just have this big opinion on things that are personal opinions, but can affect can affect your career, your future, your lifestyle. You know what I mean? Because we all human human beings at the end of the day. No matter what religion you are, uh, what no matter what religion you follow, no matter you know your gender, your age, anything like that. Like you know, we all should have some respect for some respect for each and every person on this planet. So, you know, again, I don't want to get into details about that, but just looking at the shoe, man, it's so sweet. Um, it just screams 90s in my opinion, man. I just think about all the old pictures I used to see from ads, like East Bay ads, or just seeing like old hip hop photos or like photos online when I used to be searching all the 90s stuff and seeing this shoe in there, <clears throat> um, just being on people's feet. People just like finessing these with bubble coats and certain jean layouts it's just crazy bro very 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 dope shoe um i never never wanted to pay full price for it bro because i know it was sick bro nobody was really a fan of it but it's definitely a dope shoe man i love the air bacon i love the lows even better i do not have the box this shoe didn't come with the box but it's definitely a dope shoe nobody's faking no air bacon so right now you could probably get a pair of these but it'd be pricey bro like i bought these used a brand new pair of these are probably like three four hundred dollars because they haven't released them in so long but it gives me hope that Supreme and Nike are coming together with a collaboration for the shoe because now that they're doing it, I know for a fact they're probably gonna bring back the OG colorway. Probably gonna get a better rendition. Hopefully they give us better quality. Hopefully uh, it looks better, feels better, um, you know, and it lasts a long time because right now, this right now, I'm getting the fog bubble nowadays and a lot of these older shoes. I bought it like this. They weren't really foggy at that time, but these been sitting in a tuck just because of size and issues, but for 65 bucks, I'm not tripping on it. But yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about the shoe. Are y'all excited to see the Air Bacons come back? I am, I personally love this shoe. Uh, I love the design. I love the creative aspect, the creative look for this. Wish I could find a Tim, um, a Tim Hardaway jersey, bro, like a Miami Heat one. That joint would be going super crazy with this. But again, you know what I mean? <laughs> Probably good that I didn't have it. That way I didn't get no backlash for it either. So, but yeah, man, very dope shoe, very dope sneaker, man. A lot of history behind it, man, especially with the Nike Air old symbol that used to be on this. Um, you know, as you can see now, they probably would put the same Nike Air symbol on it, but beforehand, all the stuff and controversy from back in the day, man, makes this one of those shoes that is always going to be a part of sneaker culture, man. You know, you always get that one shoe that has that bad, <laughs> that bad, uh, memories of it, you know, from the Cortez to, uh, the Air Force One, Puerto Rico being wrong. Um, you know, some of the be true shoes. It's just, it's crazy, man. It's crazy to see, but I definitely think this OG is a classic, man. And I want to hear from y'all, all the OG heads, man. Y'all looking to, y'all looking forward to seeing this shoe come back? Yes or no, man. I thank y'all for watching. I want to give y'all that sneaker news, man. Hopefully we'll get this shoe in the upcoming future of 2023. I thank y'all for watching, man. Before y'all go, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the own feast, the sneaker vlog, the sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. I thank y'all for watching, man. The future belongs to those who prepare today. Till tomorrow, y'all. Peace.